uh, Rogers Fire Chief Tom Jenkins with me this morning. You heard him talk about the need to raise awareness of mental health in the fire service. And Chief, that really was kind of our goal when we um, decided to go ahead and do this project. Absolutely. These are heroic firefighters who do um, a lot of great work, but mm -hmm. some of the heroics that we have to address are, are themselves, right? And we have to make sure that those, those folks that are there for strangers um, day in and day out, that, uh, that they have successful and long careers and retirements. And so, yeah, great subject to, to talk, talk about and bring to the forefront. Uh, we briefly discussed it in that story, but the Rogers Fire Department was part of this nationwide study. Um, how is that research already kind of helping um, raise awareness and helping even your department uh, maybe adopt new practices? I, th I think the most important thing it's done for us is that it's, it's at least in our you know, our, our fire department, our 140 some odd firefighters, it's, it's reduced that stigma, that it's a conversation now that we've had and that they've had together. And, uh, and I think they feel a sense of accomplishment knowing that uh, the research that they participated in uh, with Dr. Janke's group, um, that's gonna help firefighters uh, across the country. Right. 30,000 fire departments, there's a, there's a lot of problem to solve. Now, as far as continuing the conversation and continuing to raise awareness about mental health, what do we need to do? Well, I think the, uh, the most important thing we have to do is we have to, in, in the fire department, we have to take care of each other. We do a good job of taking care of strangers, and so the, the, where, where this problem is uh, going to be addressed first and, and maybe best is in the brother and sister firefighters understanding that it is an issue, mm -hmm. understanding that there is a role that they play to take care of each other and lean on each other, and, uh, and identifying those, those red flags, if you will, that could indicate that there's a problem. So changing the culture, per se, I mean, I think sure. that was a common thing I heard over and over again when I was talking to the men and women in your department was, we've got to change the culture. Absolutely, and it's, that's, that's, a, that's a cultural stigma. Um, that is that's everywhere in the in the United States Fire Service that it's just uh, it's problematic to admit that that sometimes the problem is with you and yeah. that repeated exposure to this stuff is tough. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for not Thanks only for joining me. <laughs> me this morning, but also working on this project. Absolutely. I couldn't have done it without you and the men and women in your department. So thank you. Thanks, Kate.